What's up guys, how's it going? We are here for another review. We're gonna be looking real close at this whole kit setup right here. This is the Rig Pig with the Roughneck. We're gonna look at it. I know this is like more of a retro review of anything, but you know what? It is what it is. We're gonna check it out. I'm gonna take you guys on the top down, give you like a breakdown of what the Rig Pig is. Then uh, we'll come back up here, do some pros and cons, and wrap this sucker up as I smack my mic around. All right, catch you guys back up here. All right, guys, so this is the Rig Pig right here. Um, very old school style build deck, as you can see right there. There's the top cap. It's got a little airflow type situation kind of going on there. So very simple, straight to the point. This, uh, These are proprietary uh, drip tips. Uh, this is a DHD one. Uh, if you've ever had the Twisted Messes, I think it was a Twisted Messes... 24 original this was the uh, the ginger snap uh, I know you could get like roughneck DHD drip tips and I think crispy caps used to make one and um, who are the other guys I can't remember their names right now I feel like a dick but yeah there's another company if you guys remember or if I remember I'll let you guys know here in a bit but yeah this is the rig pig itself this is the roughneck RDA very simple, straight forward to the point kind of RDA, Dup dual post, very old school looking, just one post and you know, you get your shit. You get one battery that goes in here, then you get this guy right here. Sure, let me see. I'm gonna use the back of this thing mostly because it's a, I don't really have a big screwdriver right now on me. All right, so. Take it out this way. If you don't have any batteries in there, this also works right here. As you can tell, I'm struggling a little bit, mostly because this is old and that's copper and it tends to get a little bit weird. All right, so yeah, that's this is how the batteries go in there, right there. Very simple, like that. And, wait, hold on, wrong way. There it goes, that way. So one battery goes in like this, then one battery goes in like this and once you get this cup on there it makes the circuit all the way through and all that kind of thing very simple straight mod yeah i'm even I'm even take this guy apart a little bit more for you here has these giant screws I remember when these came out, I actually remember when these came out, and I was like so excited, I wanted to get one, but these were really out of my price range back then. But yeah, this is the the body, it's just a giant Delrin piece. And I've been trying to see if I could find somebody to make me another body for this, but it hasn't happened yet, but eh, whatever. Alright, so yeah, it has this guy right here, which comes goes in here as like a contact cover. Let's see, I think I'm putting that upside. Yeah, it was upside down. So that guy goes in there. There's the body. And you got this guy, and they come with these little Delrin inserts on the bottom portion right there for like extra insulation and yada yada yada. Like I was saying, and then this guy goes in like that. Yes, goes in like that. That way you get that contact right there, and then this one goes with this button right here and it makes contact with that cup and and ends up working really well then this is your contact it looks just like the other rig contacts uh, I will say the button doesn't work exactly the same I've actually tried fitting a different style button because I have several uh, rig buttons and this is not the same so they really won't work the same if that makes any sense to what I'm saying alrighty so we're gonna put this guy back back together here it's a very simple uh, mod it's a mech mod so I mean there's not a whole lot to it then you get this guy in there get this cuppy dude right here back in there see and that that doesn't work that's why I'm having to use the butt of this thing. Do use like a proper screwdriver. 
probably could have grabbed one, but honestly, it just me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a build here in a second as soon as I get this whole thing put together and adjusted. I will say right now I will build on the RDA. I been doing this for a while and I for the most part know what I am doing. Use any safety precautions possible. I know James during his um his review of the Kennedy, the Ruby Kennedy, the Ruby 21, he did mention, you know, try to uh build your coils on a different atomizer if possible if you don't feel safe building straight to the atomizer uh straight to the mech mod you know safety first as always we want you guys to stay safe out there and that way you know it's one of those weird things of don't do something you're not comfortable doing and make sure you know what you're doing like this is a standard 11 wrap 24 gauge Nichrom 80 build which should ohm out at about a 0.35 maybe slightly higher but even then I'm going as simple as possible just because eh, old school build old school atomizer it's kind of how I'm feeling about it but even then like you got to know ohms law you got to understand how series builds work these these were not designed for like crazy low ohm builds and these were not designed to be like, you know, power, like they're powerhouses, but in a different format, not in the sense of they can handle low builds that really could spell disaster for you. And you have to be very careful and I'm not trying to get lecturous right now while building this thing, but might as well get that, uh, that out of the way. Cause you know, why, why not? And then we will snip this guy, and yeah. All right, so I'm going to finish building this guy, and then I'm going to take you guys up top, do some pros and cons, uh, and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys back up there. Alright guys, so that was the Rig Pig. Uh, very simple, straight to the point mech mod. Uh, as I was saying on the top down, it is a series mod. Um, so you have to build accordingly to it. You have to do more of a series build. You got to keep that in mind whenever you're building this thing and trying to make it work. As you saw, that build is just a very simple, straightforward to the point uh, series build. Look at that. Really up close and personal right there. Uh, it's one of those things that, like I've really gotten into series mods, but not really it's one of those weird things of like Yeah, no, I'm not fully sure how to feel about them, but I enjoy them from time to time uh, I will say this is more convenient than a stack tube. I'll give you that much 
on the pros list this is a completely hybrided mod slash uh, rda which means that this thing fits completely onto the mod which makes it amazing because you don't get much voltage drop and things like that but the big downside is trying to build it on a trying to build it on a regulated mod or something just to make sure your ohms are right kind of turned into a bit of a trickier thing because unless you have that conversion piece to put this onto a regulated mod it ain't gonna happen which i do not have it sadly enough uh i know for a while there you were able to buy them off of uh the rig mod co website or vaping american products or something like that whatever their website is called I know you were able to buy one now. It's more if you are lucky and fortunate enough to find one on a buy sell trade group or something of that sort, you're able to get one there. But otherwise, it just kind of doesn't really seem to happen very easily. So, here, let me show you guys some cloud production and stuff. Here. I feel like the batteries are already kind of going dead on this guy. But yeah, it's a hard hitting mod. I don't know. Here, give me a second again. There you go. I think I might have pressed the button a little bit off. But yeah, that is right there. Uh, right now, I have Karango in there. Not going to lie, it does change series versus your standard builds versus a parallel mod. They do kind of change a little bit on what flavor you're going to get. Usually, I get a lot more of the mango, less of the... Of the of the caramel <coughs> less of the caramel and um this one i'm getting more of the caramel less of the mango so no really really good um the roughneck was a pretty good rda for its time i will say that whole dual post little hole thing does make it a little bit interesting trying to put in like a bigger build in it Meaning like more of a Clapton or a Fuse Clapton or bigger. I mean, you know, if you could build something like a frame staple that would actually run um, series, which I don't think I've ever seen. I've seen aliens that you can run series, but not Fuse Claptons or not um, frame staples. Uh, Fuse Claptons, you could do it, but it's kind of a pain in the ass trying to get that, uh, that homage up there. You're looking more at a 30 gauge core type thing and even then it'd probably be just a dual 30 gauge alien which again that goes into the cla the fuse claptons and then claptons you can run like a slightly thicker core and it'll work i mean as you saw the build i put on it is a 24 gauge so that works out really well uh i did hate this proprietary drip tip thing i'm not a fan of that i'm glad that a lot more manufacturers nowadays are doing the whole standard 810 I know for a while there it became a standard 510 and it's still one of those things we switch back and forth but i do like that that is more something we're like working towards you know it makes it a lot easier less things to deal with and less of a hassle uh that on the cons list it's just more that whole trying to build it in the proprietary dip chip other than that honestly if you build this right perfectly you actually can get some amazing flavor it's somewhat of a hassle to build so building it isn't like the easiest of things it isn't like something that you're just gonna jump into it and do it but still it's one of those things that just it works out great Here, let me try this one more time yeah it's an amazing amazing uh rda amazing box like i said it's more convenient than walking around with a stag tube it's more of a box <laughs> <coughs> damn it's more of a box style so it just kind of falls into you know a preference thing at that point Alrighty, so that was the rig pig v2 i think this is the v2 is it the v2 i think it's the either the v1 or the v2 i don't remember i think it might be the v1 honestly uh either way that's the rig pig uh if you're able to find one get one you know why not give it a shot if it's in within your price range i know when these first came out they were like 150 bucks or something like that just for the mod itself if you wanted the rda jumped up the price quite heavily but i know right now on the buy sell trade circuit they're not like ridiculously priced all right so that is that um what's it called what else i think that's it so yeah thank you guys for joining me go check out clownvapes.com for your juice and coal needs as always we have all sorts of hardware and anything that we can find and get our hands on um 
do go check out Vaping with the Omis on the Vaping with the Omis channel, 7 p.m. Central Standard on Mondays, and the Wolf Bite Radio Show on Vape Radio on Saturdays at noon and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays as a replay. And we always have the SoundCloud replays. If you guys uh, go check that out, go check us out on SoundCloud. And here on this channel, I do post some of the videos that we record and things like that. That way you guys can keep up with it and check out how our what our facial expressions are while we're talking or how much we play on our phones because in reality, that's kind of what I do. All right, so thank you guys again for joining me. And as always, mix on vape on. Yeah. <sighs>